Hello, my beautiful African. God bless you and thank you for subscribing to Africa My Heritage TV channel. Thank you for liking all the videos that you have watched. So doing triggers the YouTube algorithm in promoting this video further to enable all the attention that we are trying to get on the 2022 African Cup of Nations to be possible. Thank you for uh, commenting and bringing forth your suggestions also. Doing so enables us to know whether we are doing a good job or we are doing a bad job. Because mind you, we are here to place you. We are here to keep you informed. We are here to keep you entertained. So what is the benefit and purpose of we being here? Doing all this video, uploading all this video, and yet our subscribers are not happy. And yet our subscribers dislike the video. So to enable us to bring you quality content, please bring forth your suggestions as to whether the videos that we are doing are good or bad. Please subscribe to the channel also. And after subscribing, click on the notification bell to enable you to receive alerts or new videos that we are going to upload. Please, if you haven't also recommended Africa My Heritage TV to your friends and family, please do so. And please recommend to Africans in diaspora and Africans home base too. Thank you and God bless you that you are going to do that. Overall, on behalf of Africa My Heritage TV, myself and the team behind this channel, we give thanks and glory to the Almighty God for grace to be alive for the su sufficiency of love that we are exhibiting towards one another we it means a lot to me and it means a lot to all the friends to this channel and we are saying that we thank god for how far he has been able to bring us in 2022 as i said we will make sure in this uh 2022 season all the videos that we are going to give you is going to keep you informed and entertained and educated mind you there are gifts talents and potential within you right now. I pray you are watching me from this gift, talents and potentials are within you. We'll make sure we'll upload videos that would trigger or that would bring forth or that would uh, compel this gift, talents and potentials to come out so that you can harness your own good, can harness your own advantage so that 2022 can be one of your best yet uh, to be uh, recorded. God bless you for staying tuned uh, uh, with me uh, with the uh, uh, next uh, uh, 15 minutes ahead of us so before i do the post match uh, statistics let me issue this caution please my young african please you know you are so smart you are so intelligent you are so you are so industrial you want to do something in life you want to do something for yourself and your family that is why the lack of opportunity on the african continent that is why the limited job creation opportunity in the African continent is making you frustrated. It's, make, uh, it's keeping you uh, intimidated. It's making you uh, lose hope for the African continent. That is the reason why you would want to travel outside Africa 2022. That is the reason why you're ready to sacrifice everything to make sure you can get out of Africa, African continent. I know. I do understand your pride. I understand your frustration. You whining, I understand your whining because I've been, I also whined like you when I was back in Ghana, when I was back in Africa. I didn't like the situation. I didn't like the condition. So what dominated my mind and my thinking pattern was to leave Africa no matter the cost. But please, if you want to leave African continent, if you want to travel outside the African continent, please go through the legal route or route as other people may pronounce it. Please avoid traveling outside Africa illegally. Please, avoid traveling outside Africa unlawfully. Those dangerous journeys and uh, treacherous paths that you guys want to use to get to Europe. It is taking 9 out of 10 life from African continent. If 20 people decide to embark on those uh, dangerous and treacherous journey, it is possible that out of the 20, 16 people may lose their life. And these people losing their life to the Mediterranean Sea, losing their life to the Sahara and Libyan Desert, inside them are gifts and potentials and talents and abilities that the African continent would need to develop. Most of these young Africans are talented, innovative and inventive. But they are running away or they are running outside the continent because of the lack of opportunity in the continent. So please, my young African, as much as I, I, I will support you to travel outside the African continent, please go through the legal route. Go through the country in which you are jeering towards. Go through their embassy in your homeland. Secure a visa and travel by air. Go through their point of entry to become a lawful visitor to their country. 
please avoid traveling illegally. Please avoid traveling illegally in 2022. Thank you. And God bless you for paying heed to this advice. Now, let's just go straight to the second, the first match that was played in group E. No, sorry, the first match that was played in group F. So, uh, this match was between uh, Gambia and Mali. This match was between Gambia and Mali. And after 90 minutes of playing time, uh, Gambia scored one goal and Mali also scored one goal. So it was a draw game. Both teams scored one goal. And the goal on the Gambian side was scored by Musa Baro on the 90th minute. And the goal on the Malian side was also scored by Ibrahim Akone on the 79th minute. Let's look at the post-match statistics. So, uh, after the 90 minutes of playing time, the Gambian side had 6 shots as against 19 shots on the Malian side. Let's look at shot on target. After the 90 minutes of quality playing time, uh, there were 1 shot on target on the Gambian side as against 5 shot on target on the Malian side. Let's look at the game possession. So, there were... 32% of the game uh, possession on the Mali, on the Gambian side, that's against 68% of the possession on the Malian side. So the Malians dominated the game and they had a greater possession. Let's look at the passes. So there were 216 passes on the Gambian side, that's against 443 passes on the Malian side. Let's look at the pass accuracy. So there were 81% pass, pass accuracy on the Gambian side, that's against uh, 68 that's against 88% pass accuracy on the Malian side. Let's look at the fouls that were committed throughout the game. So 11 fouls were committed on the side of the Gambian as against 20 fouls committed on the side of the Malian. So clearly the game was very physical. As much as it was competitive, you, you should expect this uh, statistics with respect to a typical African Cup of Nation game because you see, uh, both teams wanted to win so as much as they are trying to run throughout throughout the pitch you may be seeing uh, a lot of fouls so we shouldn't be surprised with the high numbers let's look at the yellow cards so three yellow uh, two yellow cards were shown to two gambian players as against three yellow cards shown to three million players interesting uh records both teams recorded zero records outside uh there were two offside on the gambian side as against zero offside on the malian side so the Gambian side had zero corners as against seven corners on the Malian side. So clearly, this game was competitive. It was cagey. Uh, it was a very tight encounter. And we shouldn't be surprised that Malian were able to emerge as victorious at the end of the game after the 19th because they dominated the possession. They had the corners and uh, it's like they run throughout the pitch. So we don't have to be surprised that they were able to emerge as victorious. So now, we are not going to look at the table and the standing because we may have to consider the second match first. And after the second match in Group F, we can just go straight to the standings of the table. Uh, so the, the stadium that hosted this game was Limbe Stadium. So Limbe Stadium in Cameroon hosted the match between Gambia and uh, Mali, where Mali, where Mali and Gambia both scored each other by uh, one goal. So they both scored one goal each. So it was a draw game. Sorry, it was a draw game. Uh, pardon me for the mistake. It was a draw game. Uh, the Malians didn't win the game by one goal to nil. It was a draw game. It was 1-1. One, one. Both things equalized. So it was a draw game. Thank you, my followers and subscribers, for being with me through this uh, minutes of uh, broadcast. Uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to receive a light on new videos that we are going to upload please recommend african on Haiti tv to your friends and family also i will see you again on the second match that was played in group f then after i may go straight and give you the standards and the table thank you